we are at Leyland Spillway. We did a video here last year, but I only really caught carp last year here and some sunfish and stuff. So we're here again to see if we can catch anything besides dirty old carp as big fish. Now, if you look at it, the water is quite a bit higher than what it was last time I was here. I would say it's at least a foot and a half, two foot higher. And that's because we just had the first round of spring rains. So I'm hoping that triggered the migration of fish up from the Wisconsin River. Now this is many, many miles upstream. So I'm not sure if they made it this far yet, but let's give it a shot. More water, hopefully more fish. Carp, obviously I'm looking for, uh, maybe something like creek fish, and maybe there's even some trout. Now Leyland Spillway at this point is not a trout stream. So there's probably not very many trout, but that also means I can bait. Um, so let's actually get some baits in the water and see what fish are in there. So for the spinner, I'm going to be throwing this little jig. It's one of the Panther Martin minis, and uh, it's been pretty good. I'm going to throw it towards the spillway because that's where the, uh, the rushing water is and that's where the oxygen is. So I'm guessing if there's anything there, it'll be towards that side. So I'm going to toss my spinner bait towards the, uh, the waterfall area because that's where, the, that's where it's really oxygenated. And if there's any trout, it'll actually be there. The spinner's decided to catch just about anything. So hopefully we can get a fish here. Like I said, the water's much higher. So hopefully the fish are actually in this deep pool. The pool itself is probably at least seven or eight feet deep. It is much, much deeper than the surrounding creek. So uh, it doesn't really make any sense that no other big fish would be uh, hiding here. They're, I'm definitely gonna be tossing all sorts of lures here. Well, I've got a fish at least. Doesn't feel very big. Feels like a chub actually. A lot like a creek chub and it is a creek chub. It's a big one. But it is a creek chub. Oh, that's a fat one. That's a very fat creek chub. Very fat creek chub. Almost thought it was a trout, but it is indeed an extremely fat creek chub. An excessively fat creek chub. That's what it is. A giant creek chub. This creek chub is wallowing in its defeat, wondering where did I go wrong? All right, Mr. Creek Chub. What do you have to say about your defeat? I must get back in the water. I won't fall for it next time. Lucky Creek Chub, I like you. So you're going back in the water. All right, you chub you. There you go, back in the water you go. Nice Creek Chub there. And uh, yeah, getting a little bit acclimated, but uh, swimming off. There you go, swimming off, swimming off. Back into the depth it goes. All right, I've tossed this particular worm now, because worm's the hot bait here. The corn doesn't seem to be doing much right now in kind of like the uh, spillway area where the water washes off. In other spillways, that is the hot ticket spot for fish. This one, I'm not sure, because that's not where the deep spot is. The deep spot's all along that side. But uh, in other spillways, that's a hot ticket area. Got another fish on the corn pole. Got a fish on the corn pole, does not feel like a carp. Oh, but it's a different type of fish. It is a carp. It is a carp. It's a tiny common. It's a tiny common, so there are carp here. Just really tiny ones. Tiny common carp. Not the gigantic ones I'm used to here, but a very, very tiny common carp. One of the smallest I've ever caught, actually. Common carp. What do you know? A very, very small common carp. This is the smallest carp I've actually caught this year. Congratulations, Mr. Carp. You're the smallest carp I've caught this year. Okay, I'm so smart, small and cute. You should let me go. All right, you're going back. Yay! All right, common carp. There you go. Oh, there you go. Got another bite. I think I got another bite. Is it a fish? It is a fish. I do not think this one is a chub. I got off. I'm pretty sure that was a carp because that felt exactly like a carp. So the status of the fish at Leyland the carp seem to be over on this side on that deep channel, and the chub seem to be over on that side of the deep channel. Um, not really sure why they uh, kind of decided that way, but it really looks like I've hooked both the carp on this half of it, on the deep channel, and all the chubs over there on that side of the channel. So uh, let's see if there's any other fish in this uh, pond. I got another fish. I mean, these the, the fish here don't really fight all that hard. Oh, it's a sucker. It's actually a sucker, so there are suckers here. It's a very small one though. This is the type you use for bait. Okay, it got away. That is a sucker. It's a very, very small white sucker. Right now for my cast pole, I'm using a small swim bait. It's a small minnow. So uh, hopefully something actually bites it. I know trout will, I know even chubs will, the bigger ones will. Um, I got this 
three, a four for three dollars at Walmart. I do support my local bait shops. I bought all my, um, I bought a lot of like replacement reels. Every time I need string, I go to a local bait shop. But for cheap plastics like this, I go to Walmart because it's like the same thing for 50% less. It's a hard sell to, pe to tell people to pay 50% more for the exact same thing, especially in this economy. There are a bunch of carp scales on the uh, shore, so someone might have just beaten me to the carp a couple of days ago. I hope not. I've caught one. I'm hoping for more. I think I've hooked two, but I'm hoping for more. Maybe someone already uh, caught all the big carp, so they're not going to be biting, and that would suck. So um, someone might have beaten me to it before the rains. All right, I'm going to try jigging because uh, none of the other stuff is actually working. I tied on a slightly bigger jig head than the 1 16th I was using. Hopefully I can jig and uh, it'll give me some trout or something else. Got something with a jig. Got something with a jig. So it feels like a chub though. Yep, it's a chub. It's hoping for a trout, but it's a chub. Another big creek chub on the jig. No trouts today. No trouts today. Only chubs. These chubs here are really big. The state record caught up north was 11 inches. Many of these are 10 plus that I've actually caught here. This one's probably like nine, but many of these are 10 plus, so there could be a state record hiding here. See ya, chub. All right, I got a fish. I got another fish. Got another fish, it's fighting pretty hard. I wonder if it's a chub. Looks like a chubby shape, but what is it? Oh guys, it's a trout. I think it's a brown, yeah. It's either a brown or a brook. I think it's a, might be a brook trout. Might be a brook trout, yeah, it's a brook trout. Sweet, sweet, a trout. Finally got one, a trout. I think it's a brookie. Look at those red spots. I think it's a brook trout. Very, very nice trout. All right, let me go. Okay, you're going back. All right, little trout. Took me a long time to catch you, but here you go, trout. There you go. I caught that trout tossing directly in there, and that's, I think that's what I'm gonna do again because uh, the trout's by the waterfall. That's where the oxygen is, and that's where the trout are gonna be, I think. There's a lot of other fish in here competing for food too, so wouldn't be surprised if they got to a first. Trout aren't shy or anything, but neither are the other fish. All right, looks like I have one, have another one. Man, these are all pretty small actually. They just don't have any kind of a fighting power, but this one's actually a creek chub. Oh, okay, so chubs and trout live in the same place, in the same happy place. Oh man, I was hoping that was a trout but it is just a creek chub, a low level creek chub. It's not even that big. All right, little chub, see ya. That was a decent trip to the spillway. I caught several chubs, several off screen that I didn't actually record because I just caught too many of them. That place is full of chubs. One white sucker. The guy on the other shore did actually tell me the sucker run is coming. So within the next week, two weeks, you'll actually see suckers trying to um, attempt to leap over the spillway and go up the stream. So if you go in a couple of days, maybe a week when it's like warm next weekend, you will probably get a lot of white suckers if you're looking for suckers for the smoker. There are carp there. I saw large carp scales on the shore. I was only able to get one small carp and I think another slightly larger one actually took my bait, but I was, uh, but it fell off before I could actually pull it in. And there are trout there, but the trout are all basically like right at the spillway where all the bubbles are. And I was only able to catch one of them, but at least four species today and several fish. Pretty fun day, but I think like the best days to go to Leyland Spillway are probably like in um, April through May. I don't think I've ever seen any predatory fish in there. I don't think anyone's ever caught a bass out of there in a couple of years, ever since the mill pond actually uh, dried up because the dam was broken. Um, but still a pretty good place to fish, especially if you're looking for bait fish or if you're trying to get a couple of trout because there are trout there. I think mainly browns. That was a brown trout, not a book trout. So, but I still had fun today. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you hopefully and get bigger fish next time. See you guys later.